Another aggressive move from Robertson. Oh, oh, Canada. Look at the jibe, Todd. They've fallen off. They turned the boat. They flew too high. Welcome to class. Uh, obviously, today's race day, so I think it's the right with you. I think boat prep is number one because we're 845 rollout. So I think first thing is 10 open, push the boat, we'll go right outside because then we can start getting the boat ready to. And then uh, I think I put in the in the schedule that we'll do a sailors briefing at about 11 o'clock, which should fit in with going down with you on the, on the boat and then still give you some time afterwards to stretch and chill out before we go in the water. The only thing I'll add is just remember to have fun, keep the joy and keep positive and just go have a great day. Tight lines. Tight lines. Tight lines. I had a really cool day yesterday getting welcomed basically by the, um, the local tribe here. And um, it's actually a pretty, like uh, New Zealand is probably world leading in the fact of embracing its heritage and the um, native people. And I think, I think the rest of the world could take a real good example out of it. One thing they've done is they gave us all a gift um, to say welcome, which is, is carved out of the jawbone of a whale. And this green stone is the local rock from the west coast of the South Island. They have basically said, put it in your boat, and it's a sign of like safety and the waters and the land around here are going to look after us. So we've got to find a sweet little spot for this in our F50. <laughs> for me, it's real special to be racing here, and um, I'm super pumped to have the opportunity to race in front of my hometown, but also represent Canada in that sense as well. It's pretty cool and special. So. Let's embrace it and enjoy it and, and have fun. Thank you. Maui. Maui. Good up again. Yeah. Um, Team Canada, welcome. And uh, I'm here to sort of help uh, Maui Stewart, who's officiating the uh, blessing process for us today. And, um, you know, it's like anything, uh, but without the spirit, you know, it doesn't have the same energy. And, th and that's when you create magic. You might feel that spirit around here. Uh, of peace and calmness. This is where it stays. When you get down there, it's, it's, it's jobs on, okay? It's jobs on, and you gotta be at your peak performance for a short time, and if you're not, you might as well not go out there, okay? That cutter here had been passed down generation after generation, so that's Tonga, like it should be in a in a museum, but it's in here, and it's been given to you here today to join as as mana whenua, as us to be part of this environment. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. And Phil, for you as well, this is a, a homecoming event. It must be a really proud moment to be leading the, the Canadian team here. Do you feel like the pressure's a little bit on the Kiwis to deliver and you're going to come in and just, you know, prove that you might be the hometown hero that we've all been looking for? That's the plan, yeah. It's been a, it's been a tricky road and as a new squad, you've, it just takes time. For us, we've done a lot of tough learning in the last few events, but we've also had some glamour moments and it's just trying to string them together and figure out what needs to change and it's very small tweaks, little one centers and yeah we'll be fighting at the top of the fleet for sure and you genuinely think you guys can take a win here this weekend 100 percent yeah that's a lot of percent that's very nice <laughs> it's uh bring your dad to work day <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> thank you I, I couldn't have done that my dad's looking after my son <laughs> game on buddy game on Oh yeah, how's the boat fletch? Amazing. Perfect. You like those in-depth answers, don't you? Mate, this is epic. Have a look around. Woo! Kiwi land. Feels like home, mate. Local knowledge says, go hard or go home. But we're already home, so our only option is to go hard, I guess. Unfortunately, we're waiting for some dolphins who are having a little play on the race course. 
Not ideal. The worst thing about it is we can't even see them, so we don't even get a show. Unlucky! White, and we're going to be racing here in Christchurch. Perfect start by Canada there, Todd. They've led things away. Phil Robertson, a Kiwi, racing on home waters as well. He's driving that. Calm voice of Phil Robertson at mark number one. So the two-time World Match Racing Tour champion, Robertson back on home waters. This is, oh my word, it's oh a tight moment here. Canada have the right of way. And Denmark, last minute turn. Oh. There will be a protest. I imagine a penalty there for the Tains, but the Canadians are safely round. That was so, so tight there. Oh my God, look how tight this race course is, Todd. You can hear there Phil Robertson. He's watching out for the Americans. They're trying to look out for boats on the other leg of the course. When trying to get the points, Canada, who had a great start, will finish in fifth place. And it'll be a quick turnaround as the Canadians come through. Do they call any of them? No, no, I don't think anyone was over. No, we were a touch late. Hard to tell from here, but I thought, yeah, it really I hurt. thought they might have been, yeah. It anyway. always looks like that from yeah. the case, It always looks like someone's over. How's your yeah, timing yeah. on the line? All clear there for me. And New Zealand boat was so, so fast. The Canadians got in on the inside there, though. They're going to be holding the New Zealand crew up. And and Canada, third once again. Oh. 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 20 meter loss there. Good result on board Canada. They'll be happy. Yeah. And another little whoop. Oh, was that bear away? That was a bloody good save in the bear away. I like that. The round up up range will be forward. It's good. I like what I'm hearing. Comms is good. The only com, the only comms I'm struggling to have time to see is whether we come round that bottom gate. If I can make it past the structure, have to early tap. And same with the the jive as well. And I've been kind of cocking it up. It's basically just a bit of a catch and then a small roll off yeah. and it turns and it accelerates. All right, keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah. Line's going to turn white. Perfect timing there by Phil Robertson and Canada again, but the USA coming in like a raging bull towards Mark 1. Is he going to be fast enough to get round the top? It's good to see Canada. Canada learning through the day here. They're getting faster and faster. They should still lead here at gate three, but he's... it feel good? Watch your sun rate. Oh, no problems at all. Used to it by now. <laughs> Very used to it. His mother, that's the one that panics. <laughs> she can't watch. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. So you got to decide which side of the obstruction to go now. The other's got to go the same way, or they're going to go the other way. And Kiwis are going straight below them. They did pretty well up with last time, didn't they? That's very good. Last lap, yeah. Look for the finish. They're going to go up to this, these marks, and then down, and then it should be more of a reach to the finish than it has been. They've moved the finish down. And in race number three, it is the Crazy Canucks. The Canadians come to New Zealand and get the win. They claim race three, one spot ahead of New Zealand. <laughs> you see the race top speed, Emily. 88.2 kilometers an hour for Canada on that first top bridge. Yeah, it's good. They sailed really well. Good, uh, I mean, it's beautiful conditions and uh, started really well. It's great to see and uh, just managed to keep it clean and simple, which is never easy on these boats and these courses, but uh, yeah, it's a really good job. <laughs> Yeah, a tricky old day. We didn't really get any time to warm up or even commission our new wing. So we're sort of chucked in the deep end and kind of hit and hope that everything worked and seemed to go all right. We slowly improved during the day and came away with a bullet. Yeah, it's been a, not a long time coming, but we've definitely felt like we always can sail at that level and it's nice when you put it all together. I don't think you could ask for a better day than that in Christchurch and um, yeah, stoked to be out there racing in New Zealand.
not a half bad place to go sailboat racing, eh? Uh, uh, <laughs> Come on! Let's go Canada! <laughs> that's that's my brother. <laughs> The course for race four is seven legs. The course axis is zero eight zero. Wind is approximately 27 kilometers per hour. What's that going to do? Opening a door potentially for Great Britain to dive in at the end. Five seconds to go. How's the timing on the line? Oh, it's perfect from Australia there. And the Australians are going to be so fast with a better angle to mark one. They should lead the fleet away. Race number four is off and running here at the ITM New Zealand Sail Grand Prix. Look at them. What's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Early attack at the stage two. No issue. Okay. 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 Stand by. As Canada, they were on fire yesterday, yeah. but this is a disappointing start for Phil Robinson's crew. Yeah. Okay, go to the finish now. Canada coming home there just ahead of Denmark. Wow, that was a really, really close finish, and that's going to have done some serious changes on the overalls. You know, in each boat that was either pushed because of a boundary, another boat, a ley line, fluffed the jibe a little bit. So, yeah. Um, First downwind, we do the right thing by jiving early, we just didn't execute it. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Kiwi's came if, if there's a situation in the race, cool. Yeah. But don't say, Phil, Phil, this is Joe, and wait for an answer. Just say, Phil, Phil, this is Joe. You yeah. need to like just keep going, because yeah. that will just cue us to shut up. Yeah. So you do the math in the boat if you need to. Otherwise, we'll just keep racing to beat boats. Yeah. And look at this, 37 points for the Kiwis, way out in front. So the battle now will be for second and third, Great Britain in second, and then 29 even on France, Canada. Oh, I may as well just tell you, it is super straightforward. Yep. It's more straightforward. Than you, with, with the British, the French, and the Aussie, yeah. you've got to beat two of those three in this race. The points. All right. So if you beat, if you beat two of those three, you'll be in the final. So if we beat the British, the French, or the... We need to beat two of them, right? Yeah, you beat two of them. British, French and Aussies. Yeah. Okay. Basically, the British, French, Aussies and us are all on the same points. So we've just got to beat two of them if it comes to it. Copy that. We'll, just, we'll go to win the race. Yeah. I think just keep doing what you're doing. You know, that start didn't go according to plan, but you're still, Copy that. You're still racing the course well. Coming up on 115 to go. This is race number five of the ITM New Zealand Sail Grand Prix here in start by Australia, but look left of screen, Great Britain and France in that battle for the final. Ainsley went really aggressive at the front. Yeah, all good, guys. Nice work. Good position, good, guys. Zealand yeah. yeah. has put themselves in a great position. Can they hold off the rest of the fleet? Keep your eye on France and Great Britain. That's the battle. Who can move back through the fleet? Canada. A better performance here by Phil Robertson. As Ainsley on board Great Britain, well, he's got to give room to the Danes, but crucially, he's ahead of the French. We're watching the British battle the French, but we can't forget that Canada are in the race for this as well. And currently, this would see Canada beating the British team to that final race. <laughs> You've got a busy few minutes ahead of you, Emily. There we go, look how tight that is. You're gonna to need to stay on top of these points. Too high, mate, but slight. Can I get past the I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Emily, the final is the Australians, Canada and New Zealand, one, two and three. And those would be the three boats going into the final if it stays like this. It is still Canada though, one oh, position ahead of Great Britain sorry, and France Todd. with problems. Look at that, they flew too high as they turned away hey, there. The Perhaps that's the steering. Yeah, now. It's oh, it's, it's got to be the Brits. Maybe just tell them oh. just the Brits, yeah? Hey, this is Jay. Staying ahead of the Brits is where the race is at. Canadians look like they've got this cross for now. The British came off the foils in that last manoeuvre. Yeah, winds turn left as well here. You can see the Canadians are nearly sailing straight up our ladder lines. The doing it. And there you go. Two-time world match race champion Phil Robertson. He knows what he needs to do. Look, they turn, Canada turns. Classic one-on-one -on -one racing here from Phil Robertson. It's a race within a race, really. He's genuinely worried about nothing else other than staying ahead of the British boat right now.
So we know for sure it'll be Australia, it'll be New Zealand, and here it is, Canada coming in fourth place, and that will get them the points, Stevie, they need to get into the big final. Huge performance by Phil Robertson and that Canadian crew. I mean, got us to love it. He loves it, is what he says, and you've got to give him full kudos. They've done a brilliant job. They've struggled for form in the mid-season, but look what it means. They're back in business, and they're really enjoying that. Hey right, guys. You're great, that one. Right. Yeah, mate, we're stoked. We're, um... Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a good race. It's nice to um, have to have a lot of boats to beat in that sort of last race, and uh, we managed to pull it off, so we're happy. So the final is set in Christchurch. It will be New Zealand, Australia, and Canada that will battle it out on this beautiful setting in Littleton Harbour. Yeah. I think the only thing I'd also change, maybe, is you, you are coming back with quite a lot to kill. Yeah. yeah. And in a smaller fleet, I just think that's unnecessary. Yeah. That, that, that. Like, uh... yeah. Seven legs. The axis is zero eight zero. Wind is approximately 29 kilometers per hour. It's going to be a straight line drag race in Canada, a well positioned, but New Zealand are coming in hot. Three seconds to go. Watch for the line to turn white. And Canada are hanging on on the inside. All on here in the big final at the ITM New Zealand Sail Grand Prix Christchurch. This would be their first final victory if they could pull it off. But there they go, they both both turn simultaneously, and it's another sprint. Australia on the inside, Canada have the right of way, Australia must keep clear, but that's a boundary there. He can't push the Australians into that, he's going to have to let them have room. Canada's going to be aggressive now, watch out, Australia must keep clear. Another aggressive move from Robertson. Canada, great move by Robertson, really aggressive, and Australia are pushed back to third. New Zealand dive in, they're 100 metres behind the Canadians, they've got some chasing to do. Look at the lead come down, 60 metres, it was 100 metres, so the New Zealand boat is chipping away, but once again, Robertson lines them up, he's going the same way. But the Canadians, no problem with their boat speed right now, look at that, 74 kilometres an hour, stretching out, and New Zealand, less than 50. Oh, Canada. Look at the jibe, Todd. They've fallen off. They turned the boat. They flew too high. Back on the foils now, but they're going to have lost distance and they're going to be rattled. Can they recompose themselves? Opportunity now for the New Zealand boat to shut the distance. Canada, well, they're sailing well in towards the shore here. Uh, not as good. Good enough to help that. They'll come back ahead, I think, do you? If Canada has to dip round the edge of that red one, I think this could be a mistake by the Canadians. Look at the speed like difference. Yeah, they're so fast. That's because Canada are trying to get above this green post to our left here. He's sailing closer to the wind. An event-defining moment here. Canada have given the opportunity to New Zealand, and New Zealand are on fire. And New Zealand has overtaken the Canadians. They're in Canada must be confident they're across. If they cross, they'll have control back as we get towards the top of the course. Well, that was a big save by the Canadians, but this is going to be really tight at the top of the course. Left, we've got the distance to lead us, 16 metres and dropping now towards Canada. Canada set up, they're going to try and block the New Zealand there boat here. Here we go. Great manoeuvre by the Canadians, but how are they lined up for the gate here? It looks tight, New Zealand are quicker. Canada will have the inside, but they are slow at this point in time. New Zealand are going to look to try and slingshot down inside and control the next manoeuvre. But I think, here we go, there go New Zealand. First to turn away, it's now just a drag race. Two more turns down at the bottom of the course here. Another oh, mistake by Canada! Boundary penalty, Canada. Oh, no! Ah. Ah. That could be they're going to have to lose 20 metres relative to the speed of the New Zealand boat. That's going to really hurt them distance wise. That's the Canadians clear of their penalty there, so foot down, full speed ahead. And it's Canada cutting in front, so despite the penalty, they made up the ground, and it'll be a right-hand turn. And how about this? A little history made in Christchurch, as Phil Robertson will steer Canada to their first Sail GP victory, and it comes at the ITM New Zealand Sail Grand Prix. Oh, what a job by the Canadians. Wow, clinical. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Feels good. Regatta win since the Ontario High School Championship. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I won a North <laughs> We got a good lead here. Don't need to push. <laughs> yeah. Rudder was just like shaking. Why the limit? How good was that on the reach? Oh, oh my that god. That was fun. The, the commentator's like, dude, your runners were like, just in the water that whole reach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 no! No! No champagne! <laughs> yes, boy! <laughs> see for me it's been super special uh, this is my home country and to have my friends family and um, the New Zealand public here to win our first event is unreal and I probably don't realize it yet but tomorrow I'm sure it will sink in but that is super special to have my wife here as well obviously is uh, for me that means the most and um, I think as, as a team that's probably one of the biggest things it's, it's, it's about the people and I think we've captured that after Sydney and I'm really proud of how everyone's rallied from that event and the effort we've put in to get back here on the start line and the effort that everyone's done personally to develop as well and um, I feel like the team's way more united now which is a sweet place to be. Thanks, You're aggressive but fucking yeah. worked. <laughs> Oh, nice work. work. Just work. These guys are awesome. It was a good one. It was nah, exciting. We, we put a, uh, we stuffed it one job, mate. Eh? Did you? Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. So we've got That's a chance here. Got a chance. <laughs> yeah, oh. no, nice work. Good action. Hi. Cheers, buddy. I like the laughing. Yeah. It was quite aggressive. Hey, was Which one? So these guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Because we let them in yesterday and I was like, yeah, we talked about the debrief. We're like, they should have like given them one and just we'll got say, the mark so we actually debriefed it this again. morning <laughs> yeah it was, it was perfect like textbook yeah. got him yeah, yeah, 